Hi, my name is Juliana Rotich. I'm co-founder and executive director of Ushahidi. Uh, Ushahidi is a not-for-profit tech company that uh, makes software for crowdsourcing information and also for curation. Ushahidi is the Swahili word for testimony or witness. Uh, it started as a collaborative project in 2008, early 2008, uh, after the post-election violence in Kenya, where the narrative that we saw on TV of events differed greatly from the, the eyewitness reports that we were hearing and what we were witnessing ourselves. So we wanted to create um, a way to gather all this information map it and have a situational awareness of what is going on where. The seminal moment in its adoption was in 2010 in Haiti where it was used to crowdsource information about the earthquake. It has since been used to crowdsource crisis information in Japan, in Louisiana after the uh, oil spill, in Chile, in uh, various other places. Um, the other thing is it's also there have been some non-crisis uses. For example, uh, there is one for um, around in the U.S. There was a big blizzard, and there didn't there wasn't a directory of midwives, and they used CrowdMap, our cloud-based system, to to pinpoint where midwives are. So if you go to BlizzardBabies2011.CrowdMap, you will see this map of midwives in the United States and there's also the burger map where uh, crowdsourcing the best burger in the US um, so this really shows that uh, flow of information has become um, much more complicated it's no longer top-down uh, citizens can be generators and aggregators of information about whatever issue that they care about and they can track it over time. One of the most amazing crowd maps we've ever seen was actually by the Ministry of Agriculture in Afghanistan. Crowdsourcing commodity prices. And uh, this was incredible. I met a gentleman from Afghanistan and the first question was, has your technology been used in Afghanistan? So we went online and checked and we found it. And we zoomed into the area he was interested in and looked at diesel prices, he could confirm that they were accurate. It was incredible.